que pasa en el fuego, mira que fuego me está quemando. Y yo quiero seguir guarachando, con ustedes seguimos tocando. Mañana te quiero, mi madre, con mi madre yo vengo. Hyde Park on a balmy Saturday night, and London is in the grips of a love affair with the Buena Vista Social Club. All the way from Cuba, average age 75, and a few years back, no one outside their country had heard of them. Bueno, sí, como no. Esto, como digo, esto es más que un sueño, mira. Más que un sueño es la verdadera realidad, pero yo me pellico. Porque eh, usted no ha visto en la película que uno sueña una cosa y se pellica para decir verdad. Y yo, oye, ella también, cada ratito se pellica. Y, yo, y eso es colorado, no, que me pelliqué para ver de verdad. Nosotros lo anhelamos siempre, pero no, no lo habíamos pensado exactamente. Para nosotros fue sorpresivo, una sorpresa muy buena, muy agradable y un anhelo que lo logramos ya, que se ha logrado. No me llores, no me llores, man. no. They've been on the road for six months now, planning to sell out shows across Europe. All because they were discovered in Cuba by American musician Ry Kuda four years ago. International success was almost instant. It's the, the biggest world music album we've had over the last three years. Um, it's number one in the specialities chart at the moment. Um, it's, it's a phenomenon, really, it's very popular. I, I, I don't even have to sell it. it, it just, it walks off the shelves. No matter what we do to it, where we put it, it, it sells. If we put it in soundtracks, it goes. If we put it in world music, it goes. We can put it anywhere. Um, it's, it's an, the, the cover is a, an instantly recognizable image and it just, it goes. If we put it in the attic, it would sell. London, the Buena Vista Social Club has come to represent a romantic past and it seems has led to a love of all things Cuban. Si estamos, piensa, no estamos seguros. Estamos seguros que somos embajadores de la de, de la claro, cultura de, de la Cuba. cultura. Como embajadores sí. somos. Sí. So, let's check out this passion for Cuba firsthand. For young 20-somethings, salsa dancing has become all the rage. At this club in Soho, classes are booked out almost every night, and the catalyst is the Buena Vista Social Club. I think they just sound good, and salsa is it's not an ageist music. It's anybody can take part, so the fact that they're really old doesn't matter, and it kind of adds to a bit, it's a bit of a novelty. If you know what I mean, they're so old, so they're just, they're cute, and they sound so good, and they dance, and they move, and they gyrate, so <laughs> they're great. Would you love to go to Cuba? Definitely, I definitely want to go there before Fidel Castro dies, before it, the Americans move in and restore everything, and tourism takes hold and everything, definitely go there before that happens. And as we discover when we cross town to the upmarket Sloan Street, home to the exclusive Monty's Club, the Cuban cult has no age or class barriers. For example, we've got some lovely Trinidads, which are the cigars that Fidel Castro used to smoke. Right. Downstairs, during the day, front desk manager David Frenzel sells Cuban cigars to the seriously rich who can't get enough of them. That's 870 pounds. Sales are always conducted to the soothing tones of the Buena Vista Social Club. And when work is done, time to play at the club bar upstairs, where business is booming and cigar smoke is everywhere. Now, this is the life it wouldn't be so difficult to get used to, as the barman mixes his Cuban cocktails known as mojitas, made from Havana rum, David happily samples his wares. It's a whole sexy thing, cutting it, lighting it, the pleasure of it. Havana cigars are, have, are always the best cigars in the world. They're the Rolls Royce. And when those Rolls Royce drinks finally arrive, the Monty's management insist on their visitor taking part in every aspect of Cuba they can supply. Oh, that's nice. So, what's the big attraction to a small communist country thousands of kilometres away that David Frenzel visits as often as he can? It's almost back to the, that whole sort of 50s thing. I mean, it, it's like going back to the 50s. And it's, 
the music, the cigars, the rum, uh, that whole thing. It, it, it's so exciting. And the fact there is no McDonald's on every corner. No. And, and no Americans. <laughs> It's a love affair that may not last because change in Cuba is considered inevitable. But Cuba's self-appointed ambassadors are confident their music will endure no matter what. Esta música viene desde los años 30, 40, 50 de todos los años. Pues claro que sí. Eh, la música cuando eh, cuando tú puedes tu identidad la puedes perder, por ejemplo, con la música. Y nosotros estamos muy seguros que las próximas generaciones mantendrán nuestra identidad y mantendrán lo que es la cultura. Y entonces, por supuesto, estarán más actualizados porque son más jóvenes y tienen nuevas inspiraciones, algo, pero sí, se va a mantener la música cubana, por supuesto. Vamos a darnos la mano y vamos a vivir en paz. Thank you. Better